And now, please welcome your host, John Suchet. Hello and welcome to a brand new week on Going for Gold. It's just after 12.45 on Monday the 10th of November and we are completely live. If you were watching on Friday, you'll have seen our first international special where England smashed the Republic of Ireland in the final. Today we are back with a normal show and our new carryover champion, who is Andrew from Walsall. He won his first show on Thursday. He's back today to defend his title. And we'll meet him in a moment along with three new contestants. At the end of today's game, one of them will be crowned daily champion and win £1,000. So let us meet today's contestants. Contestant number one, you are our carryover champion. Remind, remind us who you are and where you're from. Hello, my name's Andrew and I'm from Warsaw in the West Midlands. And number two... My name's Joe, I'm from Finchley in London. Number three... Hello, I'm Angela and I'm from Braintree in Essex. And number four... Hello, I'm Neil and I'm from Cathcart in Glasgow. And you're all very welcome. <laughs> now, our first round is called Beat the Buzzer. I ask you a series of questions worth one, two or three points. Whoever buzzes in with the correct answer wins the relevant number of points. A few things to remember, you must buzz before you answer. I can only take your first answer and you must answer the moment you have buzzed. And the first three of you to reach nine points will go through to the next round, which, as always, means a rather early exit for one of you. So, hands on the buzzers as we begin with a general knowledge question for one point. Which suit in a pack of cards is represented by a red lozenge-shaped suit? <laughs> Andrew. Diamonds. Diamonds is the right answer. Several of you lunged for your buzzers. Andrew got there first. So, Andrew, the category for you. Television. One, two or three points? I'll try two, please. Two points on television. Everybody. The Stig is a character that... <laughs> Andrew. Top Gear. Top Gear is the right answer. That is the long-running TV motoring show that the Stig appears in. Andrew, the category for you now is food and drink. One, two or three points? Two, please. Two points on food and drink. Which pastry is used to make the Greek dessert baklava? <laughs> Angela. Shoe? Incorrect. <laughs> Neil. Puff. Incorrect. Andrew or Joe? Andrew. Thick crust. <laughs> Incorrect. Joe, it's all yours. Uh, <laughs> fluff. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect you all know it really. It's phyllo. Oh. Phyllo pastry. <laughs> Four cooks amongst you probably and none of you unfortunately knew it. OK, so we go back to a general knowledge question worth one point. On Sunday morning UK time, which Welsh boxer took his fight record? Andrew. Joe Calzaghi. That's the one, didn't he just? 46 wins. No defeats. Did you watch the fight? I missed it, unfortunately. It was pretty amazing. He was knocked down in round one, but he got up again and went on to win. Quite extraordinary. Right, Andrew, the category for you, geography. One, two or three points? I'll try three, please. Three, the maximum, everybody. He's trying to establish a really big lead here. The city of Whitehorse is the capital of Neil. Utah. Incorrect. Of which Canadian territory? Andrew. Ontario. Incorrect. Joe or Angela? <laughs> Joe. Saskatchewan. Incorrect. Come on, Angela. A Canadian territory. Quebec. Quebec. N incorrect. Bad luck, everybody. Yukon is the answer. Not easy, I grant you, but it was a three-point question. So we go back to a general knowledge for one point with Andrew on four. All three of you to get off the mark. Come on, then. In which country is there a region known as Dixieland? <laughs> Neil. America. That's the right answer. Well done, Neil. <laughs> so... Andrew four, Joe and sorry, Andrew four, Joe and Angela to get off the mark. Neil on one. You'll have to wait just a few minutes because Beat the Buzzer will continue after the break. Let us get back to the game here in the studio. And it is our Beat the Buzzer round, and this is how it stands. Andrew's established an early lead, our carryover champion on four. Joe and Angela, we want to get a score for both of you. Neil, you just got off the mark with the last question uh, before the break, so you are in control. And the category for you is Pop music. Would you like one, two or three points? Uh, two points, please. Two points on pop music, everybody. Reaching number one at the end of last month, The Promise is the latest chart-topping single of which group? <laughs> Neil. Girls Aloud. Girls Aloud is the right answer, Neil. A little bit hesitant, but you knew it. 
So the category now for you is clothes and fashion. One, two or three points. Oh, one point. Please. Just one on clothes and fashion. In 1997, Donna Teller succeeded her brother Gianni Angela. Versace. Versace, yes, that gets you off the mark. Well done. She succeeded Gianni as head of the uh, Versace fashion house. And Angela, the category for you now is the animal world. One, um, two, please. Two on the animal world. Which species of whale is the heaviest animal in the... <coughs> Andrew. The blue whale. Yes, well done, Andrew. It is the heaviest animal in the world, and that gets you up to six. You're within three of the magic nine. The category, Andrew, is, is art and artists. One, two or three points. Two, please. Just two, OK. Art and artists, everybody. Which female artist's blue beach hut was put on display at the Saatchi Gallery in 2000? <coughs> Angela. Tracy Emin? Yes, Angela, it's the right answer. And that puts you up to three, and the category now for you is actors and actresses. Um, One, two or three? Two, please. Two on actors and actresses. Who starred as Dr Norman Spencer in the 2000 film thriller What Lies Beneath? <coughs> Neil. Harrison Ford. Yes, Neil, that's the right answer for you. You're up to five. The category now for you is acronyms and abbreviations. One, two or three? Uh, two, please, John. Two. In computing, what device? An acronym for modulator de... Andrew. A modem. Yes, Andrew, a modem. Modulator demodulator, I was going to say. I won't read the rest of it because you interrupted well and you are now within one point of going through. And the category for you, Andrew, is cities. One, one please. One point just on cities. Which city is the capital of Portugal? <laughs> Andrew. Lisbon. You're through, Andrew, that was right. <laughs> OK, our carryover champion goes through quite impressively. Joe, we want you to get off the mark. Angela, you're on three, Neil on five. Remember, the first two of you to reach nine will go through to the next round. So let us begin with a general knowledge question for one point. In Cockney rhyming slang, which beverage is known as... Ro <coughs> Joe. Tea. Tea, yes. Well interrupted, Joe. <laughs> I was going to say Rosie Lee. Tea. Was that an inspired guess? Uh, no, I did know it. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. You're off the mark. And the category now, Joe, books and authors. One, two or three? Uh, two, please. Two on books and authors. Cell and Duma Key. <laughs> Neil. Stephen King. Yes, Stephen King was the author of those two uh, <laughs> books, bestsellers, the US horror writer, of course, Stephen King, which puts you to within two points, Neil. And the category for you is the human body. One, two or three? I'll go for two, thanks. Two, it would put you through if you get it. The hepatic artery carries... <laughs> Neil. It's blood from the heart. Incorrect. I'll carry on. Joe. The liver. Yes, Joe, that is right. Carries blood to the liver. Well done, you were at the wrong end of where the artery goes from. Bad luck, Neil. But, Joe, the category now for you is inventions. One, two or three? Yeah, I'll take two, please. Two on inventions, everybody. Which influential invention was pioneered by John Logie <laughs> Be Joe. Television. Yes, just made it in time, Joe. Well done. Without John Logie Baird, where would we all be? <laughs> OK, Joe, the category for you, flags. One, uh, two or three? Two, please. Two points on flags. It would put Neil through, so it's a bit of a gamble. The national flag of Greece is blue... <laughs> Neil. Blue and white. That's correct. Blue and white is the right answer. You're through, Neil. <laughs> Yep, a good gamble, Joe, but sadly it worked for Neil, not you. So, Joe, you're on five. Angela, you're on three. The first of you to reach nine points goes through. So, the, we go back to a general knowledge question worth one point. The name of what type of building is shouted out by the winner of the game of Joe? House. House is right, a game of bingo, I was going to say. That puts you to within three points, Joe. The category is European history. One, two or three. I'd better go with just two. Just two, OK. European history, both of you. During the Second World War, which German army commander was dubbed the Desert Fox? Angela. Rommel. Yes, he was. Erwin Rommel. Puts you up to five. And the category for you, myths and legends. One. Uh, I'll have two, please. Two points on myths and legends. What was the name of the Greek god of love? <laughs> Joe. Athena. Incorrect. Angela. Aphrodite. Incorrect. You're both wrong. <laughs> the answer is Eros. Aphrodite was the goddess. Eros was the god. So back to a general knowledge question for one point. What is the official language of Cuba? <coughs> Joe. Spanish. That's the right answer, Joe. It gives you the choice. The category is the Olympics. One, two or three points. Two, please. It's what you need to go through, so hands on the buzzers. Who became Olympic champion in the heptathlon in 2000? Ah, 
defeated both of you out of time. Denise Lewis is the answer. So we go back to a general knowledge question for one point. On what part of the body are mules worn, Angela? The feet. They are worn on the feet, which puts you up to six. The category for you, Angela, American history, one, two or three? Um, two, please. Two. It would put Joe through if he gets it. It wouldn't put you through, but let's see how you do, both of you. On which Saints Day were seven Chicago gangsters massacred, Angela? Valentine's Day. St Valentine's <laughs> Day is the right answer. Look at the scores. Joe, ahead all the time, you're slightly behind. You need two. Angela, you need just one. And the category is yours, Angela. Radio, one, two or three? Um, I'll have one, please. One. It would put you through. In 2004, Chris Moyles took over the breakfast show on which radio... <laughs> Joe? BBC One. Can I take that? Yes, I can take it, says our adjudicator. <laughs> wow. Eight all. The next question probably will decide it. Hands on the buzzers. Joe, the choice is yours. British history. One, two or three? <laughs> one, please. Yes, OK. Just one point. Which country was united with England under the 1707 Act of Union? <laughs> Angela. Scotland. You're through, Angela. Gosh. <laughs> Joe, gosh, you were ahead for the whole of that final part of the round and you just failed at the last hurdle.